And the 2021 Morningstar winner for Outstanding Portfolio Manager is Joel Tillinghast of Fidelity. Joel runs Fidelity's low price stock fund, which is up 16% year to date and up more than 30% over the past year. And Joel joins us now. Joel, welcome. It's nice to have you with us. Give us an example of the kinds of stocks you buy and what the criteria are for inclusion in the low price portfolio. So what I want are businesses that I understand well, that have honest, capable management who are taking a long view. And I want resilient, adaptable businesses. You know, all of that selling for less than their fair value. So give me a sense. I mean, by the way, congratulations on the award. It's a it's a, a really a, a great recognition of, of what you've done and done over a long period of time. Uh, give me an example. If I were to say if you were to say here's a classic Joel Tillinghast stock, what would it be and why? Maybe in your portfolio now may have been one that treated you well years ago. Uh, I tend to stick with my winners. You know, so I've got several. Maybe the all-time best is Monster, um, Monster Energy. Um, Monster Beverage? Over, yeah, Monster Beverage. Monster Beverage. It's mm -hmm. over, over 20 years. The you know, stock is up a thousand, over a thousand fold. Our purchase cost is, I think, eight pennies. Uh, <laughs> and you know, it started as a fruit juice company, you know, sort of a juice bar to the stars. And then they, you know, I met them at a tech conference, actually, and they were serving up their energy drink. And I really liked the fruit drinks, which shows what I know. Um, but um, now they are coming into hard seltzer and, you know, <laughs> As is everybody. So you found out about them how? You just ran into them at a tech conference and, and they, you were yeah, sampling the, the beverage the, and you said, American I like it, so I'll buy it? That's yeah, great. I, 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 I met them and you know, it was like 10 times earnings. They were growing. I thought that they could take market share from Snapple, which was in disarray. But, but I liked that they were experimental and innovative and we're trying new things and um very cool joel it's kelly I, if i could ask i mean in some ways the low price stock fund that you manage reminds me of what's going on with stocks today with the retail army who's looked at names like hertz maybe last year and kind of resurrected them um do you you not only have identified companies early on but you've held on to them do you have any advice for people who might be looking at some of the stocks they picked up and trying to figure out when to sell? Uh, different. I've seen people who were great traders, you know, but I am not one of them. And so I can't give them much trading advice. You know, do your research. Please, please, please. Fidelity has some awesome research. You know, and if if you're more into the fast growing thing, you know, ARK Invest has some cool blogs. Reddit has some cool blogs. Please do some research. Yeah. So, so let me just ask you one final question. You said you, you tend to, when you find a stock that you like and you believe in it, you tend to hold on to it. How long do you hold your average stock? Or, or another way to put it is what is your annual turnover rate? Uh, the turnover is in the teens. So the you know, that implies like a period, that implies like a six year, year holding period. Yep. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.